Hi friends, Susan Campfield with SueStampfield.com. I'm here to share with you this really cute little Frankie uh, treat box for Halloween. We're going to be doing some punch art tonight and make this cute little guy. So let me flip the camera around and put it in my stand and we'll get started. Alright, so here's our little project. You can see if I take the candy out that there's an opening in there. Um, you could put all sorts of candy in there. I chose to do disgusting sour worms for my Frankenstein guy, dead guy here. Now this is supposed to look like a uh, tombstone, which I think it does. Um, and uh, so he's in his graveyard hiding behind the tombstone and he's full of worms. So gross, right? Perfect for Halloween. So let's get started with this cute project. I've got my um, Simply Scored uh, scoring tool here and I've got a piece of cardstock. This is basic black and I cut it at four and a half by eight and a half. So I'm going to put the four and a half edge across the top of my scoring tool and I'm going to score it at a half inch, one and a half inches, three inches, and four inches. And I'm actually going to go, it's easier for me to go backwards, I'm right handed. So I'm going to start with the four. I'm going to then go to the three. And then I'm going to go to the one and a half. And again, because I'm right handed, it's really hard for me to get a good score on this side. So I'm actually going to just pull it and rotate it. I'm sort of cheating here. And I'm going to score the half inch on this side. It's four and a half inches long, so I know if I scored at four, it's still a half inch. I hope that makes sense. So I've got all my scores across there. Now I'm going to rotate my cardstock so that the eight and a half inch edge is along the top of the scoring tool. And I'm going to score it at two inches and again at three inches. So now I can take my scoring tool out of the way. And we'll do a, we'll do a little bit of cutting here. So what I want to do is um, cut away this upper portion right here. I guess I would call that the long two triangles at the top. I think you can see those scores pretty well in this lighting. And this is going to form the back part of our box where our Frankie uh, face is going to be. To repeat it on the other side. If you're watching the recording of this video, either on my YouTube channel or on my Facebook uh, page, you can always pause it and grab a piece of cardstock and do this right along with me. Sometimes it's easier if you're doing it at the same time I am. So now we're going to cut up on this uh, score line right here and repeat on the other side here. So this is the part that's going to form the box that holds the candy. This is the part that's going to have the Frankie on it and be the back of the box. And then these two pieces are going to be the tabs. So I actually don't need this smaller rectangle here. I want to cut that out completely. Same with this side. And then now I'm just going to do, I'm just going to do a little angle cut here. This is going to give me a cleaner finish on my box. If I don't angle cut, those um, sides might stick out a little bit when I put it together. And I prefer them not to. So it just doesn't matter what angle. You just want to take a little chunk of cardstock, a little wedge out of cardstock out of there. So I'm going to swipe these out of our way. And I'll just get my bone folder here and do a little creasing. And we're going to put our box together. So give it a good, good crease with your bone folder on all of those score lines. Alright, so now I'm going to grab my tear and tape and I'm going to attach some tear tape to this part right here. So this is that little half inch part that we scored, and that's going to be the, um, the tab at the back of the box. So we're going to go ahead and put a piece on this side as well. And that's really all the adhesive this box needs to go together. This tear and tape is super strong stuff, so um, 
I don't need to add anything else. Peel off the backing, fold your little tabs in. Here, let me get it in the light so you can see. Fold your little tabs in and then just fold this part up. Fold up the back, flip it around here. And just lining up the score with the side there. I'm going to press it down and repeat on this side. When I film these, I'm kind of looking through the camera instead of looking at the project, so it's a little bit different for me. So there we have our little box. That's how easy the box is to go together. So now all we have to do is our little decorating and we're good to go. So to make the Frankie head and the hair and the tombstone, I'm using a new punch. It's in the holiday, the Stampin' Up! Holiday catalog. It's called the Every um, Everyday Label. And we're just going to go in here and we've got some lemon lime cardstock. And I'm going to punch out Frankie's head. And then I'm going to take a smaller piece of basic black cardstock. And I just want the upper portion of the punch. This is going to form the hair. So I've got my hair there. And then I want to take this piece of smoky slate cardstock. Now this is, let's see, it's two inches high, which is not enough to get the entire punch. And I don't want the entire punch. So I just want enough for my tombstone to go on the front of my little box. So there I've got my tombstone. So I'm done with this punch. And we're going to go in here and we're going to give this guy a haircut. Now this is a spooky Frankenstein, so I'm not going to give him a neat, tidy haircut. I'm going to give him a really messy one, which is good because I'm not very good at cutting hair. So just jagged and messy and you can always cut more off if it's not enough. And let's take out one more little messy chunk here. Make a big wide wedge there. So there I've got his hair. And if you feel like it's too long, you can always, um, you know, just cut it up a little bit. So we've got the hair. Now let's just do his face. So the re the only other, well, the other punch we're using um, is the uh, cookie cutter punch. So we're going to use the eyes here for the whites of his eyes. And we're going to use the bow tie for his little bow tie. So I'm going to take, oh, and excuse me, this is also, the eye is also going to be his nose. So I'm actually going to start with his nose. So I just need one lemon lime twist for the nose. And then I need two of the white ones for the eyes. There we go. And so we've got a nose, I've got two eyes, and then I want the bow tie. On this one, I'm actually going to do, I'm going to do a lemon lime twist bow tie for this one. Um, I did this project for my Halloween treat holder class and one of my customers uh, that is a big Halloween fan did a lemon lime uh, uh, bow tie on hers and I really liked it. So Carolyn, I'm going to borrow your idea because I thought it was great. So um, we're going to take our project and put it together and then we're going to add the eyes. So I'm going to grab some glue dots here. I see I didn't bring any snail adhesive over, but that's okay. Glue dots will do the trick. So for my glue dots, I put a piece of ribbon on my glue dots so that they don't come unrolled. And then I just peel back the paper until I see the, the first dot of glue on the roll. I think you can, can you see it there? Yeah, there it is. Um, that way the, they don't uh, come unrolled and, and make a big mess. So it helps keep them contained. All right, so I've got the hair on. The nose here, I'm just going to add, I've got my lemon lime pat, uh, twist pad here and a little sponge dauber. And I'm just going to do a little sponging around his nose. I'm just going to make the nose pop out a little bit more. Since it's the same color going on to the same color. A little bit more. There we go. All right, so I've got the nose. This is what we call punch art, when you take a series of punches and you build a character. And it's, um, those of you that have followed my YouTube channel for a while know that I love doing punch art. So I'm gonna put the white um, circles that I punched out on some glue dots here. I'm gonna put the nose on a glue dot as well. 
And while we're at it, why don't we put the bow tie on and glue that too. There we go. So I'm going to take the eyes, peel those off and stick those on. Hoping you can see. I can't quite see. Oh yeah, I think you can see that. <clears throat> okay, so I've got the whites of his eyes and then I've got his little nose here. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to draw his, um, well, before I do that, why don't we do the pupils of his eyes? So the pupils of his eyes are a product that Stampin' Up! sells called the White Perfect Accents. They're kind of like our pearls and rhinestones, although they're a little flatter profile, and they're just white, um, shiny dots. But what I've done is I've taken a Sharpie marker and I've colored them to make them black. And that way they make the perfect pupils for eyes. Um, they're shiny, they're dark. You could do them really in any color you wanted. Um, just like that. And once you color them, you do want to let them dry just, just a little bit. They dry pretty quickly. So I'm going to use these two that I did earlier. Use my snips here to get them. Okay, no I won't. I was trying to not, not get messy fingers. But who am I kidding? We're paper crafting, right? It's all about getting messy. So I'm going to add one eyeball there, and it's kind of fun with punch art. You get a different expression just depending on what, you know, sometimes they end up kind of cross-eyed, sometimes they're looking to one side. This guy's kind of looking over here. It just gives you a different look. It's kind of fun to see how they end up. And I'm just going to add a mouth. This guy I'm going to make smiling a little bit more than the last one. He's a little happier. And then, of course, we need our, our scar here. There we go. So I've got my um, my little face drawn on, and I'm going to attach him to the back. And I want it to stick up over the back enough that um, you can see that little scallop area. So right about there is perfect. Um, and then I'm going to peel off my bow tie, and that's going to go right here, right below his chin. So. That's what Carolyn did. She did it in the green and put it below his chin. Um, the black one I did actually on his chin, but I do think this one shows up a little bit more, so we're going to go with that. Um, so let's just add, add some more glue dots on here. I love my glue dots. I, <laughs> I go through glue dots like crazy. Glue dots and dimensionals because um, they're super easy adhesives to work with and they don't make a mess. There we go. So we've got our little Frankie face. And we're going to just attach that to the box here, like so. And then we're going to take our tombstone and put some glue dots on that. Stick it on the front of our project. Now I think that bow tie needs a little bling on it, so let me grab. They were right here anyway. I was over there looking for my black rhinestones, and here they are. So the black rhinestones are also new to the holiday catalog. Uh, perfect for Halloween. I just want it in the center. There we go. So there we've got a little bling added to his uh, bow tie. I'm trying to get that to sparkle here. There we go. Um, so now I'm just going to add the gray beard goodies and the ribbon. I love ribbon, so most pro most of my projects end up having ribbon on it. So I'm going to take the one inch circle punch. I'm going to cut out the graveyard goodies. That greeting is from um, the graveyard gate stamp set, and that's going to go right here with a dimensional. So I'm going to pop that up a little bit. Wow, not the most centered. <laughs> We get for punching through a through a uh, camera, right? There we go. And then we're gonna take our ribbon again, lemon lime twist to match our rest of our lemon lime twist on our project, and just tie this in a knot. And then we're ready for the best part, which is the candy. Even though they're sour gummy worms, which are not my favorite, although my son loves sour gummies, so. and then I'm just going to trim the ends of that ribbon. don't have my 
I have a pair of these snips that I just keep for ribbon cutting and they're not over here right now. So I'm hoping these aren't so sticky that I can't cut this. Yeah, it's working. Okay, and there we go. Now I'll just take our worms. These are trolley. And I got them in the Halloween section. And so, like I said, there's lots of other um, candies that you could put in here. It just depends on your preference. So there we've got our cute little Frankie treat holder. Um, I will be posting the... Um, information about this this video and the instructions for this project on my blog and that will go up either tonight or tomorrow but it will be up by tomorrow so thank you so much for joining me thanks for the hearts and the likes have a great evening and have a wonderful halloween bye bye